You don't have to remove the cover from the Speedfeed 400 bump head to refill the trimmer line. This Echo SRM225 string trimmer just ejected its last piece of line. Place the engine on the ground. While replacing the line, avoid positioning the engine so that the air filter side is on the ground. Fuel could leak out of the carburetor and onto the filter. Prop the bump head on a convenient working place. Echo recommends installing 20 feet of 0 .080 or 0 .095 inch diameter line. The span between your hands on outstretched arms are approximately equal to your height. I don't need any help, Melvin, but thanks. If you've been using the trimmer, the gearbox in the area around it could be hot. Notice that there's two points on the top cap of the trimmer head. Hold on to the top cap and spin the head until the notch lines up with the eyelet. I've removed the bottom cover, and when in this position, you can see that a piece of line can be pushed through both eyelets, to the center of the head, and through this slot in the center of the spool. If you've been doing this the hard way and had the trimmer head apart, ensure that the spool is correctly installed you'll find a L on the spool. Ensure that the L side faces the ground. Unless there's a really hard bend in your line, there's no need to straighten it out. Just insert it into the trimmer head. Might get stuck going out the other eyelet. And push it through. Pull the line through. Match the ends so that there's two even pieces. There's an arrow on the trimmer's guard that indicates the direction of the trimmer's rotation while in operation. Always wind the line in the opposite direction of the rotation of the trimmer. Grab onto this part and this top cap and spin the top cap until all of the line is wound into the trimmer spool. Continue to wind the line in until it's about the length of the cutter. I hope you find this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name Know How Now to find other videos. And thanks for watching.